In the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat at welcome po muli dito sa Basilika ng Manawag. Gathered together as God's family, let us acknowledge our sins so as to prepare ourselves to celebrate this mystery. <clears throat> You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to all sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy, bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Our reading from the book of Exodus. As Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tablets of the commandments in his hands, he did not know that the skin of his face had become radiant while he conversed with the Lord. When Aaron then and the other children of Israel saw Moses and noticed how radiant the skin of his face had become, they were afraid to come near him. Only after Moses called to them did Aaron and all the rulers of the community come back to him. Moses then spoke to them. Later on, all the children of Israel came up to him and he enjoined on them all that the Lord had told him on Mount Sinai. When he finished speaking with them, he put a veil over his face. Whenever Moses entered the presence of the Lord to converse with him, he removed the veil until he came out again. On coming out, he would tell the children of Israel all that had been commanded. Then the children of Israel would see that the skin of Moses' face was radiant, so he would again put the veil over his face until he went in to converse with the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Holy is the Lord our God. Holy is the Lord our God. Extol the Lord our God and worship at His footstool. Holy is He. Holy is the Lord our God. Moses and Aaron were among His priests and Samuel among those who called upon His name. They called upon the Lord and He answered them. Holy is the Lord our God. From the pillar of cloud he spoke to them. They heard his decrees and the law he gave them. Holy is the Lord our God. Extol the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain. For holy is the Lord our God. Holy is the Lord our God. Please stand.
I call you my friends, says the Lord, for I have made known to you all that the Father has told me. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field, which a person finds and hides again, and out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells all that he has and buys it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Itong mga paghahambing ng Panginoon tungkol sa karya ng langit, actually, napaka-lapad na paksa. Marami siyang itinuturo, inihambing. Sa pagkatayong lahat, kailang makarating sa langit sa tamang panahon. Merong mga pagsubok, kaya ang iba nahihirapan, Merong hindi na nangangailangan na paalalahanan. Ngunit sa pangkalahatan, kailangan natin ng paalala. Lalo na ngayong panahon ng pandemic. Gaya nitong sa gospel natin ngayon, treasure, kayamanan, at perlas. Sa tingin ng tao, sa mga merchant, malaking pera to. Mahalaga. Kaya kailangan uh, pahalagahan. Ngunit hindi man, ngunit ang tinutukoy ng Panginoon gaya nga sa pagpunta natin sa langit, eh dapat, pamis, eh, ang ibig lang sabihin nun, sa pang-araw-araw natin pamumuhay, hindi naman tayo atat na atat na makarating ka doon. No? Kailangan meron tayong determinasyon, meron tayong kooperasyon, at kahit na dito sa lupa, makikita na rin natin ang mga paraan na para mapagaan ito, para tayo matuluyan at hindi mawala sa ating mga kaisip kaisipan. Yun ang mahalaga. Sasabihin natin, hindi eh, naman yung totoo. Sino man bang bumalik sa lupa para pag... Kahit sa Bible, sinasabi si Solomon, yung, yung kapatid niya, hindi pinayagang bumalik galing sa purgatorio para palalahanan yung iba niyang masamang kapatid, hindi pinayagan, no? Ni Abraham. Ngunit alam natin na, sabi nga, itong mga palala, itong mga kaisipan na ginagawa natin, especially sa mga bagay-bagay na binibigyan natin palaga, ay kinakailangan. Kasi kadalasan kasi, ang mga tao, araw-aruda, nagdidesisyon. Kumisan, hindi nag-iisip. Kaya ito sabihin natin, ang pagsisisi ay laging sa huli. Ngunit ka lang pag-isipan pa rin natin. Kung baga sa, alam ko, alam ko, marami, sabi ka, ang gaya ka, ka, sa radyo, nakikinig ako, sabi, mabuti pa rin yung ah, manakawan ka o may baha, huwag lang masunugan. Kasi pag nasunugan, ubos lahat. Diba? Pero kung mabaha, kung mas, um, uh, ano man nakawan, at least may matitira. Kung minsan hindi natin iniisip, kung minsan sabi natin, kapag meron, bigay-bigay biyaya para bukas ng wanga. Mga bagay na ganun. Lalo na ngayon, lalo sa panahon ngayon na hindi pa natin alam kung kailan na katapusan ito. Gumagapang pa rin tayo, lalo na sa Pilipinas. Sabi nga, ngunit kapag ang determination natin ay binibigyan natin ng kulay, 
ang araw-araw na nangyayari sa ating buhay, magagawa natin yun. Number one, kung hindi lamang, kung lalo na kung hindi tayo makasarili, marami tayong nagagawa, lalo na para sa iba, na hindi natin uh, iniisip yung kabayaran. Doon nga nakikitang tunay na kasayahan ng isang tao, nakagawa ka ng mabuti na hindi ka humihiling ng kapalit. Huwag ko na sabihin yung nakikita natin sa media ngayon, sapat kitang-kita naman ang paghirap ni Hedeline, no? Sa atin lang, ordinary yung araw-araw, nakikita natin na hirap na hirap, maraming nahihirapan, maraming natatakot. Ngunit, kung patatalo tayo sa mga yon, eh talagang wala tayong aasahan. Ngunit kapag balik, balik tayo natin, kaya nga yung mabiyaya ng Diyos, yung mga kagandahang loob ng Diyos, tulong ng Diyos sa atin sa araw-araw ng mga grasya, malamang na hindi natin binibigyan pansin. Ngunit napakalaga yun. Kung baga noon, kagaya ng mga telenovela, nakikita nyo naman, kailangan merong sacrificial lang, merong mamatay para ma maunawaan yung sitwasyon yung ganon. No, hindi. Kahit na walang ganong negative na mangyayari, still, makakasurvive tayo kapag binigyan mo ka ng tunay na kulay yung nangyayari. Yung kahit na yung sa palipalibot natin. At hindi tayo nagsasawa. Hindi sapagkat sabi ni Jesus, kung gawin mo yon, diretso ka sa langit. No. Hindi natin yung iisip. Hindi ganun gusto ng Diyos na gawin natin dito sa lupa. Kahit nga sinabi, we are free to choose. Pero yung pagpili natin, kinakailangan guided yun. Meron mang, siyempre, si Satanas lang makakagawa na eh, igagayad tayo sa palayo. Ngunit, kung ginagamit natin ng matino, ang ating kaisipan, at ating mga puso, siguradong correct yung direksyon na pupuntahan natin. Kaya napakalaga yun. Kung sometimes we take them as reminders, eh, kung misan, kailangan, kailangan ma-experience natin sapagat kung hindi, hindi tayo magigising. Malulug, malulugmok tayo, lalo tayong, sabi nga ng mga tatanda, lalo tayong malul, malulunod sa ganong sitwasyon at paka hindi na tayo makaahon especially do sa palaging negative ang iniisip, palaging nagtatanong kung may Diyos o wala. Hindi. Nandiyan na yan. No? Kaya uh, lagi nating isipin na merong misyon ang bawat isa. Bawat isa sa atin ay may, ga, may, may papel na gag, ginagawa o gagawin o gagawin pa sa mga darating na panahon. Hindi tayo basta bumibigay sa halip sapagkat napakarami ng paliwanag sa Ibanghelyo, ng ating totoong konsyensya na magagayad natin sa, sa tunay na direksyon. Eh, higit pa doon, meron pa tayong sinasandigan na Diyos. Kapag tayo nakasandig, eh, hindi tayo mabubuwal. Hindi tayo madadala kung anumang pagsubok o paghihirap dito sa lupa. Masa isipin nyo lang, always think positive. Ano man ang mangyari, ano man ang darating, still kung prepare na prepare, hindi naman sa prepare tayo sumamatay, no, hindi. Prepare natin ang sarili natin na may gagawin tayo, gising tayo lagi, no? Handang-handa tayong kumilos. Huwag pa ito nga nga, nga, no? At mag-isip kung ano-ano pa man na makakasira ng ating determinasyon na gawin ang kuluban ng Diyos dito sa lupa. Kaya yun ang nagbibigay kulay sa buhay natin sa araw-araw. Huwag niyong isipin na sabi na natutulog ba ang Diyos? Lagi nito yung naririnig isa. Sa radyo, sa ano, natutulog ba talaga ang Diyos? Pinaperapan ba tayo ng Diyos? Sa halip, balik ta rin mo, no? Ano mang kahirapan, nandiyan pa rin ang Diyos. Ano mang pagsubok, nandiyan pa rin ang Diyos. Nandang tumulong at kawaan tayo. At kahit sa lahat, huwag natin kalimutan na ang gawa ay laging nasa sa atin. 
hindi tayo kinokontrol ng Diyos. Ngunit pinapaliwanagan tayo ng Diyos sa pamagitan ng matinong pag-iisip, sa malinis sa konsyensya, at ayon sa ating pananampalataya na sinasaliga natin sa pang-araw-araw pang -araw nating pamumuhay. Magsitayo pa tayo. Let us heed the invitation of God our Father and to ask from Him what we wish Him to give us and let it be what is important. After its petition, we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that the Holy Father and the bishops may be guided and inspired by the wisdom of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may use the material gifts necessary for our well-being in a proper way and not become victims of greed and selfishness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are searching for the truth may daily come to a deeper appreciation of faith in Jesus Christ as the pearl of great price. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and those who care for them may be blessed in their sacrifices. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have departed from this life may rest in eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we pray we offer our personal petitions and also the intentions of this month. Heavenly Father, source of all that is good in life, help us to use your gifts wisely and to rejoice in the treasure of your love. We ask this through Christ the Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for, the, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work we human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal happiness 
Through Christ the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word to whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare you, your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a jewel, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Socrates our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O Lord, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Joseph, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Amen. Father in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may always pray from sin and save from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. We offer to one another and the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, yet prophesies us for salvation, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming pong salamat sa pagdalo nyo sa, bal sa banal na misa. Ingat lang po sa pag-uwi. Madulas ang karsada. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless us all. 
the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. Hindi lamang po tayong nandito sa loob ng simbahan na umiling na makaiwas sa anumang karamdaman at healing. Ilakip na rin po natin yung mga kamag-anak natin o kakilala natin hindi makapunta rito o nasa ospital, mga frontliners. Nakakarating po yan sa kanila. Pinapakinggan lalo ng Diyos yung pakikiramay natin sa kanila. Nauna sila kaysa sa atin. Salamat po. Let us pray. God, Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Banawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ, O Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of the rosaries and other religious articles. If we have them with you, you can bring them out. Let us pray. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary, Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oils, and other religious articles of devotion be blessed and be made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.